this is nerve wracking. The waiting and all these beautiful, like gorgeous ladies around you, you really have to be confident to be able to walk into their room and like kill it. But I'm just trying to have fun because you only get 10 seconds to show your best and show your personality. You do kind of freak out a little bit, but you just got to go in as confident as you can. My agent gave me the advice that I just like have to show my personality, just show the real me. I remember what it was like going into that casting like it was yesterday. I was shaking every time I smiled, my cheeks were vibrating. The first time I walked the runway, I was just thinking in my head, don't fall, don't fall. Cross your legs, have a little bit of a vibe going on and smile. I smiled until my cheeks were numb. <laughs> this is my eighth years, but I'm still nervous, but I'm really enjoying every moment. I did the show once last year. I was just really petrified and excited at the same time. And once I stepped onto the runway, it's like uplifting. So you just like want to go and kill it because everyone else is killing it and you're like, we got this. I did a fashion show six years ago in 2012. When I walk the runway, I try to be as sexy as possible and have fun. I did my first show in 2016. I remember like walking out, Bruno Mars was performing the segment, and I looked at him and I was like, oh, he's putting on a show? Like, I have to put on a show. And I was like, okay, like, this is it. My first time on the runway was amazing, especially because it was in China. It was the best feeling of my life, for sure. First show I did was Paris two years ago. I had a blast. Once I turned the corner, I don't know what happened, but I was just like, oh yeah, this is the dream. I was amazed backstage on my first show that even like the veterans were all so inviting and kind because we're all going through the same thing in that moment. Everyone just wants to stick together and have a good time. There's totally a sisterhood. Backstage, the compliments that we're giving to each other, the positive vibes that we experience, to me, it's unlike any other show. And you're kind of just all cheerleaders for each other. In the show, we bond together. It's like a party. <laughs> it's a special show and no other backstage is like that. The women are so empowering. They embody something that a young girl like myself really wanted to be. Doing the Victoria's Secret Show changed everything because not a lot of women have done it yet. It gives you that title of, yeah, fuck the Victoria's Secret Show, no one can ever take that away from you. So I feel like all the hard work, it's like the biggest reward at the end. Nothing beats the Victoria's Secret Show because that's where you really get to show your personality. It's a really exciting experience. You can be who you are. That feeling's unlike anything else in the world. It's like a moment, you know, I dreamed of for a really long time. Some of the other angels I've looked up to since I was a young girl and had them on the front cover of my diaries and then I'm sitting there talking to them. And then to see your own face, like, walk out, you're kind of like, did I really do that? Like, I really did that. I mean, you're at Victoria's Secret Show, like, how can you not walk out there and feel like a million bucks? The reason that we use the artisans that we do is because they're extremely creative. They have their own hand, they have their own process, and we love to challenge them. We want it to look like a parachute. So it's really a big collaboration. This is the most artisans on one wing, I think, ever. I think that the viewing audience would be surprised how much work goes into each one of these pieces. 